Hey everyone, Cranberry Alarm, RI3D here. Um, today we're gonna be going over the, our Indefector prototype that we have here. Um, for this we have a side roller uh, style design um, and we're running about four inch compression all the way through it. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Go ad free and access our videos earlier when you support fun with a membership through YouTube Join. For $4.99 a month USD, you can now watch most of our YouTube videos ad free and gain early access to scheduled content with other options also available. Click the join button below to get started. Let's go and put one in just so I, uh, we can see how it looks with it in there. Um, so we're using these back two wheels here to kind of index it and bring it in kind of straight so then we can feed it uh, into these three inch wheels right here, which are gonna be like our ejector wheels that are gonna be the ones finishing off the scoring. Um, and as that kind of comes through there, you can kind of see how that looks um, and just kind of goes straight through like that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do a couple prototypes. So we're gonna show uh, here our L1 scoring. Um, each of these sides are going to be independently powered. We've, we had a, a lot of struggles with um, being able to eject cleanly into L1 in the uh, vertical orientation. Um, like the kit bot, ejecting in the horizontal orientation is very, very effective. Um, so what we're going to be attempting to do to score in L1 is instead of ejecting just straight out, we're going to be um, imparting a spin on this by uh, driving these at different speeds um, to hopefully get that to score in L1 effectively. Um, so let's go and give it a try. Let's go and spit it up my side a little bit. Now you can see it kicked it there. All right, let's go and stop. Let's just go ahead and change the position of it so that we can see how a, a feel a feels with different orientation. So I'm just gonna angle it a little bit. Let's say you can't get fully aligned. Here we're not getting quite as good results from a distance. So there I sped up mine right there to go and get a little bit more speed on it. And there we're getting enough speed to get it in there. So this one will be really kind of temperamental and kind of figuring this out as this end effector is kind of designed for the L2 and the L3 and the L4, um, which we're gonna go ahead and show later. So here we have a very uh, precisely engineered uh, structure here to be able to accurately test the um, deployment of our end effector here um, onto the L4 rung. We're not gonna be testing L2 and L3 just because it was gonna be a little hard to set up, um, but we're operating under the assumption that if we can score L4 um, at our 15 degree angle, then we assume that L2 and L3 will be more advantageous and should be easier to score on. So let's go and do a quick demo and do a couple tries. So we are going at a moderate speed here. We're not trying to go too fast. Um, we can show that, but it's a little bit dangerous just for everyone involved. Um, and right now with independently powered sides, it's important that both sides be the same uh, power. If you're not the same power, then likely uh, the game piece will come out at an awkward angle. One more, there you go. And that pretty much demonstrates the uh, L4 scoring of our end effector with our um, two side rollers. We're using three inch Andymark 35A green wheels um, to eject the wheels and then to index the wheels in the back, we're using the two, two inch Andymark 35A green compliant wheels. Um, thank you guys for watching and be sure to check out more videos of Cranberry Alarm RI3D on Fun Robotics Network. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. 
Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions.